Machine Gun Kelly needs an exorcism. If you're not a millennial or Gen X, you maybe don't know who I'm talking about. So let me introduce you to the pop star Machine Gun Kelly, real name Colson Baker. He's a popular rapper, musician, and actor with 9 million followers on Instagram. He has an illegitimate daughter, born in 2009. He openly brags about using marijuana and tells his youthful fans he smokes it daily. He describes it as his source of happiness. He's also struggled with heroin, cocaine, Adderall, and alcohol. He claims to be a political anarchist. He is noted now for his relationship with actress Megan Fox, who constantly appears in photo ops with him, blatantly burying her sexual attributes in the most lustful way possible. He has picked fights in music and on stage with other artists, including Eminem and the highly demonic metal band Slipknot. His entire body is tattooed except for his face. The symbol for anarchy is tattooed just above his belly button. One of his albums was called Hotel Diablo. His stage name comes from a notorious gangster in the early 20th century who ran booze doing prohibition. He robbed, kidnapped, used his favorite weapon, a machine gun. Hence, he gets the name Machine Gun Kelly. Why bring him up, MGK, now? Because at 32 years of age, he has been publicly reunited with his mother, who abandoned him at the age of nine. He broke the news online featuring a video of him next to his mother. She gave him the V victory sign. He is smiling at the camera with both hands extended, giving the middle finger. In one of his rap songs, he referred to his mother with these lyrics. How'd you leave your child at nine for another dude? In the song Burning Memories, he said, I took acid, that's LSD, just to burn all my memories of you. All the years you ignored me, left me sleepless in the bed. I hope he got some kids because your only son is dead. Kelly admits at the time he contemplated suicide. When I say he needs an exorcism and has demons, how can I be so sure of that? Well, here are four reasons. Number one, we're going to refer to him as MGK. His parents were missionaries. They traveled the world spreading the gospel. He tagged along as a kid. But when he was nine, his mother left the family for another man. We don't know why. His dad fell into deep depression, so Callie went to live with an aunt. The hypocrisy of his overly strict religious parents had an impact on him. We just don't know why his mother committed adultery. But the facts can't be good. This Christian ministry is where he got his rebellion. It stemmed from being involved in that kind of family and the double life. That was an opening for demons. He became embittered against God, and you know who can blame him? But demons don't care about the facts. They only take advantage of the situation. He was an innocent child. His parents opened the door to the devil, especially his mother. The second reason I know he has demons is this. His highly celebrated sexual escapades with various women, including fathering an illegitimate child, open more doors to demons. We'll not get into the story of his latest love, Megan Fox, but her lustful displays say it all. He's engaged to Jezebel. She says of the relationship, and I quote her, Instead of a soulmate, I have a twin flame, or a soul ascended in to a high enough level that it can be split into two different bodies at the same time, so we're actually two halves of the same whole. That's witchcraft. 
The third reason I know he has demons is his consistent foul language, his spirit of rebellion, and his defiance of decency. Now, it may be a good career move in today's culture, but it's an open door to demons. Perhaps he thinks he's entitled to rage against his parents in life and in lyrics, but it's clear Satan has used it for his advantage. Kelly said it himself on his EP entitled Binge, in which he declared, I'm still dealing with some demons that ain't really there. Grew up a screw up, pierced my ear, and dyed my effing hair. That's an opening to demons. Well, the fourth reason is this. His drug use alone has given Satan hundreds of opportunities for entry. Followers of this blog and our International School of Exorcism understand how demonic possession occurs. MGK is a public prize for the devil, and Satan would not have passed up the opportunity, especially with his diet of weed every day. Even though Machine Gun Kelly suffered through a very tragic early childhood, it wasn't of his choosing. His embrace of evil now holds him fully accountable. Yet there's hope for him. There's hope for any sinner. Sadly, the successful trajectory he seems to be on now in his career is blinding him to the truth. Satan has this young man where he wants him. But so did the devil have Saul where he wanted him before he became Paul. If Kelly is willing to make some serious life changes and get an exorcism, I'm ready. Confidentially, off the grid, without obligation. That's a better deal than Jezebel can offer him. Jesus said in Luke 12, 15, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of things He possesses. As the New Living Translation puts it, Beware. Guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. Fame, as they say, is fleeting. And to Machine Gun Kelly, I want to say, Come back to the Lord, because hell is hot and eternal. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.